I'm Carlene Rose and welcome to Nerdy Yoga YouTube channel. Today we are going to start our yoga flow in mountain pose. So I want you to find just a comfortable position here for your feet. You can even, like I just did, kind of take a few steps back and forth and letting your feet naturally fall where they will um, on the earth. Natural location so that they're in line with your knees. Don't need to worry about having them be perfectly perpendicular, anything like that. I want you to just make sure that you are in a healthy line position for your bone structure. So once you have your feet kind of planted, bend your knees just slightly. You can even rock back and forth. Make sure that you are grounded into the earth and take a slight wave and lift all the way from the base of your feet, all the way up your spine, out the crown of your head. So now we're nice and tall. We've got lots of space in our spine and we've got good alignment. And then from here, we are going to reach our hands down towards the earth, really feeling that stretch from our shoulders you don't have to worry about pulling them really down and far, just an energetic reach of your fingers to the floor to create a little bit more space on your shoulders. And taking a few deep breaths in our mountain pose, really thinking about expanding your low belly and your breathing diaphragm in all directions. And exhale, squeezing everything in and out. We don't want to be lifting our shoulders while we're doing this. Um, we're breathing from our belly and from our breathing diaphragm instead of from our chest and our shoulders. So inhaling here, exhale. Think about exhaling through your nose. You want there to be an ujjayi sound or a victorious breath sound. Uh, it's almost like Darth Vader when you hear him breathing that kind of hissing sound, except when we do it, we're doing it and it's good. So inhaling here, exhale. And last time inhaling here, exhale. Now from here I want you to bend, slight bend in your knees again. Inhale, reach all the way up with that slight wave like we did at the beginning and exhale, this time deeply bend your knees and fold yourself to the earth. Wave your spine long over your legs with, with bent knees still. Once you have that length in your spine, then you can start to extend your legs to that first edge of stretch. You haven't warmed up or anything yet today, so don't worry about stretching too fast, too far, too soon, anything like that. Just coming to that first edge. And you can plant your fingertips and start to wave and rock yourself back and forth. I want you to bend your knees really deeply. We're going to come into a chair pose. So find that good um, grounding with your feet. Really make sure that you're balanced on the trinity of your foot. So underneath the ball of your big toe, little toe, and heel. And then use that lifting all the way up from the earth to come into chair. So in chair, you don't want your knees coming past your toes, anything like that. So really think about sitting back in your leg, back in your sits bones. Uh, you should be able to see your toes from here. Wave your spine long, extending up around your head. Arms lift up and sit a little deeper into your chair. We'll do some chair twists of fire. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, left elbow is going to tap top of right leg. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist the other way. Right elbow to top of left leg. You can even stand up in between it. Get a little more movement as you do this and really using your breath to help control your movement here. A few more on each side. And you can slow this movement down too if you're finding that you're getting out of alignment. You can go slower to make sure that you're staying in a good chair pose alignment. Last time, reach all the way up. Bending your knees really deeply, coming into that forward fold again. And notice maybe if your legs have a little bit more room to stretch, even after that quick little flow, you can wave yourself back and forth again. I'll turn to the side so you can see what we're gonna do here. 
Um, we're going to come back into that chair pose. So now we've done our forward fold for a couple of breaths. Planting your feet again, extending, uh, or like sit bones are way far back. Rolling yourself in and up to that chair. From here, we're going to come into a flying position. So leaning yourself forward, hands extend behind you. Again, creating that space in your shoulders and neck. And lift onto your toes. Whew, that's a challenge. Come back up into your chair. Exhale. We're going to come through fists of fire now. Lots of movement. So back into your flying, onto your toes. Really get into your, our calf muscles. Very nice. We're doing controlled motion, controlled momentum here. A couple more times with this. Onto your toes. Back up to chair. Last one here. Onto your toes. See if you can hold this for a couple of breaths. Really challenging your balance here. Keeping that length in your spine and plant your feet. Inhale this time, reach all the way up. Ooh, nice break on your legs and exhale. Coming into that forward fold, very nice. And notice the difference that you've made in your legs already as we keep going into this forward fold position. Again, you can wave yourself back and forth. even bend one knee um, and then the other as you were waving yourself and come back to that forward fold awesome now from here planting your feet again sit bones back rolling yourself in and up back up to your chair we're gonna make nearly all of your fingers except for first two so like Charlie's Angels Mudra, or you can think of it like a blaster, however you want. We're gonna inhale here, we're gonna do those twists again. We're just gonna exhale, sitting a little deeper, twisting to the right. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, twist to the left. And again, you can stand up between each one if that's easier. Or if it's more challenging, you can do it as well. Even just bring your hands in front of your face. You don't have to extend them all the way to the sky. So the great thing about this flow is you can modify this chair um, to be however challenging you want it to be today. Just make sure as you're doing it that you are staying in good alignment. So you're not going so fast that your knees are going everywhere and Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but you understand the point. You want to keep your sits bones back, have that good, healthy chair position. And last time, sun reach all the way up. Exhale, forward fold again. Whew, very nice. Waving back and forth. We're doing so well with this chair flow that we're doing today. And last little sequence here, ground into the earth, coming into your chair. This one will be a little simple, but we're going to get our heart rate going. We're going to try to do it as fast as we can without losing good alignment. So inhaling here, exhale, we're going to come to fists of fire and just onto our toes. If you find yourself losing your balance for a second, that's fine. Take a moment, get back in it. Maybe slow it down a little bit. And last time, this time reach all the way up and exhale. Woo, such a good job there. Wave yourself back and forth. Bending one knee and the other. Coming into 
into that forward fold. This time, plant your right palm underneath your right shoulder. Bend your right knee really deep. Left leg is going to be straight for you. And left arm extends to the sky. And you can hold it here, or if you want, rotate your palm behind you. Drop your hand wrapped around your back. That feels good. You can look up towards the ceiling or towards the floor. We're getting a nice stretch in our outer hips that we worked so much in that flow. And exhale. This time, left hand plants underneath the left shoulder. Left knee bends, right leg is straighter this time. Right arm extends to the sky. You can look towards the ceiling or the floor. And if you would like, rotate your palm behind you and come into a half bind. Awesome. Coming back into your forward fold. From here, make your way onto a seated position. I want you to take uh, your feet, bounce your feet together, let your knees fall open wherever they may. Feet are just going to rest open. Um, don't want, need to worry about pressing your knees down or anything like that. Just want you to extend your spine long and walk yourself to that edge of stretch over your legs, letting gravity do the work with your knees. You're just making sure you have that long spine, that your sits bones are grounded into the earth. That you're finding that first edge of stretch for your inner thighs, your inner groin area. And this time walk yourself back up and all the way down to the mat. Hug your knees into your chest. From here, just rotate onto your left side. You can extend your left leg long. Catch your right foot or heel in your right hand and pull your foot just a little closer to your asana and stretch your quad. And we'll roll over and switch sides. Stretching out our front of our legs, which got worked in that chair pose. And from here, coming to your final resting position on the earth. If you have any other um, poses or stretches that you want to do, take that now. And then extend and relax onto the mat, onto your floor. taking all of that strength and balance challenge that you did in that practice. I hope you thought it was a lot of fun. I definitely look forward to seeing you on the mat next time. So make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Uh, that way you'll get notifications when the new videos go up and get on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list. There's a link in the description below. That way you can get your exclusive content. Namaste.